certain responsibilities. You are the ruler in the country, you have your responsibilities. In the house, you have your responsibilities. There is no position of honor without responsibility. You can't get honor, prestige, status, and you have nothing to do. Once you are khaira ummatin, best of people, it carries that amount of responsibility. <coughs> so Allah bari ta'ala, in this day and age, He has chosen us. And He is warning us that, O oh Muslims, if you turn back from your duties and responsibilities, which He has imposed upon you, for giving you this high and noble status, He will substitute in your place another people. Yastabdil qawman ghayrat. Another people, a foreign people. Thumma la yakun wa thalakum. Then they won't be like you. You don't carry out your responsibilities, out you go. The Imam doesn't do his job, what do you do? Get another Imam. The Mu'azzin, he doesn't make your fulfillment, what do you do? You please him. Your, your, your bosses, you don't do your job, what does he do to you? Fire him. The manager doesn't do his job, he'll be fired. This is the law. Irrevocable law. It's unchanging law. You don't do your job, out you go. You being the Khaira Ummatin, you don't do anything. And Allah will keep you there on the pedestal. Because you are Malay, you are a Pakistani, you are an Arab. No, 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 nothing. No favoritism with him. He's got no favorites. You don't do your job, get out. I'll put somebody else in your place. You don't do your job, get out. I'll put somebody else in your place. That's his law. And this law is an eternal law, unchanging law. He's doing it all the time. In the religious history of man, in the first instance he chose the Jews, but Israel. You know that? He sent prophets after prophets to them. Out of the four heavenly books that we Muslims we say we believe in, we say we believe in the Torah, we believe in the Zabur, we believe in the Injil, and we believe in the Furqan. The Furqan is the Quran. Out of the four books, Three of them, 75% of the books are Jewish books. You know that? Books given to Jews. Hazrat Musa a.s. a Jew. He was given the Torah. Hazrat Dawud a.s. a Jew. He was given the Zabur. Hazrat Isa a.s. a Jew. He was given the Injil. Jew, Jew, Jew. Out of the four books, three are Jewish books. 75% Jewish books. We say we believe that they were sent by Allah. He chose them. He sent prophets after prophets to them. Some of the names we give our children, we say Musa, Jewish name. Dawud, Jewish name. Ishaq, Jewish name. Yahya, Jewish name. You know that? Jews, Jews, our children, we give over them Jewish names. Why? Because these are the names of the righteous servants of God. We are not ashamed to give these names to our children. But the fact remains that Allah chose them. He sends prophets after prophets to them to do a certain job of work. <coughs> they didn't do it. They didn't fulfill their obligation. So a Jew among the Jews, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, he is telling his people according to the so-called Injil, the New Testament of the Christians. <coughs> Hazrat Isa alayhi salam is made to say, and the kingdom of God, this high position, this honor, this status, will be taken away from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. This position that you are holding will be taken away from you and given to somebody else. And who that somebody else will be? A nation that will produce fruits. You don't produce fruits, cut it off. Burn it. Trees that don't bear fruit, what do you do with the trees? Just an ornament? Do nothing? Chop it off. Useless. Occupying valuable space. You too, you do the same, chop it off, replace you. So Hazrat Isa alayhi salam told the Jews that you will be displaced by somebody else. And there is another law seems to be at work. That when he displaces one group of people by another, almost invariably that people who displaces you, who replaces you, is a nation, is a community that you have been looking down upon. That's Allah's punishment. 
The one you look down upon the most, he makes them to sit on your head. You're looking down upon the Bantus, then one day Allah will make them to sit on your head. You look down upon the Bushman, the hot and pot, he can make them to sit on your head. The people you are looking down upon, he says, make them to sit on your head. Now you feel something. You still hear that we were the, 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 the master race, we are less and that. Down in the Kataya. You serve now. In Syria, Syria, the Muslims, the Sunnis, people like you and me, we are the Sunnis. We say we follow the Sunnah, the example of the Prophet, the Sunnis. 80% of the people are Sunnis. They rule Syria. They were a certain group of people called the Alawites. Alawites. Syrians, but they belong to a different community. They believe that Hazrat Isa is God. Same like the Christians say that Jesus is God, they say Hazrat Ali is God. And the Sunnis, they exploited these people, as we exploit the African. They exploited them. They won't they will send their sons to the army. That's for these low-down people, low caste. The Alawites. Let them go and join the army. Let them go and join the police force. Our sons, we're going to do business. Our sons, we're going to become clerks and professionals. Okay. Who do the dirty job? The Alawites. The Alawites. Who's going to work in your house? Those girls are working in your house? The Alawites. They work in your house. As nannies looking after your children. Very <laughs> good relationship. Now you've got slaves. Slaves in the days, in the 20th century, you've got slaves working for you. They are your slaves. Allah turned the tables. That less than 20% of the people are now ruling 80% of the Syrians. I mean, I can, you can imagine it. Yes, there is a law at work. Why won't you learn? You don't do the job. You don't want to do it your hands. No, you don't do it your hands. You don't want to do policing. You don't want to join the army. No, this guy must do it. There's no caste. The blue castle. Right. So now he's got the army, the weapons, one day coup d'etat, you know, toppling the government, and he's now set in position. The 20% is ever there to subjugate you and keep you down. 80% is keeping 80% down. <coughs> Allah Ta'ala, in his wisdom, he displaced the Jews. By who? By the Arabs. These Jews were looking down upon the Arabs for 3,000 years. They said, you see, Father Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam, he had two wives, Sarah and Hajra. They say, the Jews, that Sarah was his legitimate wife. He entered into a contract with her. But Hagar, they say Hajra, was a bond woman, a slave woman. She was actually a princess of Egypt. The ruler of Egypt, he presented her to him. But the Jews, because of their hatred, they say she was a bond woman, a slave woman. As such, her children come for nothing. They call the Arabs Hagarines, children of Hagar, Hagarines. And the religion is Hagarism. This is the insert in which they speak about the Arabs, their cousins and the religion, Hagarism. For 3,000 years, they were looking down. I think there might be some windows open on the top. There is a draft coming directly. So it can't be air conditioned. I think there must be some windows. Is there, is there a floor on the top? Because I can see the draft is coming right on my head. I don't know how long I will last uh, with this cold. You know, I'm getting colder by the minute. Yeah. It's warm up here. Yes, there is a world of difference. If your brother can come a little closer, it will be much nicer. So they were looking down upon the Arab cousins. Good for nothing. In the sight of the Jews, the Arabs are good for nothing. Barbarians, illiterates, ummi people. And Allah Bari Tala chooses them. And makes them to sit on the heads of the Jews. But now once he puts you on the pedestal, he is not forever. You have to do the work, produce the fruits. You don't produce the fruits, he will substitute in your place another people. That's the law of Allah. Why don't people learn? That's the law. So the Muslims spread out. 
They went as far as Spain, as far as the Atlantic.